welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you guys are new to my channel. Hi, hi, how are you? I am Sweetie Pie, aka Melissa, aka Sweetie Pie. I am here on YouTube to, I don't know, have a laugh, do some reviews, check out my channel if you guys enjoy my content today. Today we're doing something a little bit interesting. I created this look using the Five Palettes One Look. I, I did not create this. So many people do like makeup roulette and I was just like, uh, I'm not, I'm too scared to do makeup roulette. So I thought about this plan to do the five palettes, one look where I pick out a palette. Um, I, I pick out five palettes, I should say, and then I pick out of a bag and we pick a shadow out of that palette to do for the brow bone, to do for the crease, to do for the lid, and so on and so forth until we have created an eye look. I hope you guys find this interesting and yeah, I hope you guys, um, you know, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy me. And yeah, so let's get right into this video. If you guys wanna see how I created this look, then All right, guys, stay tuned. So I've got my palettes here in my book bag and obviously um, all of these palettes, oh, I've got like little pieces of fur from my kitties rolling around of course, but yeah, as I was saying, all of these palettes are very noticeable, like they all have very different textures. I'm gonna know which one is which, but the thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go like, you know, step by step down the line and just pick a color out of the palette and use it in the eye look. So we're gonna pick all of our colors first and then I'm just gonna lay them out so that I know um, what I have to work with. All right, so number one in the bag. All right, is my Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. And thank goodness, this one actually does have a all-over color, and it is called Amen. It's that one right there. And that's the one I'm going to be using first. So, next palette in... Whoa! Just fell out is the Subculture. I like the Subculture. Just letting everybody know. And I literally, I think I already know what color I'm going to use. I'm going to use Dawn as my like starting of my crease color. And it is this one right here. So we're getting off to a good start. I'm running out of room on my table though. Let's do this. There we go, lots more room on the table. All right, so next palette. Oh, okay. So the next palette I pulled out is the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. And it is so beautiful, like, oh my gosh, pretty. And it looks like I'm going for my lid color a little early, and, hmm, so we're going for, like, a kind of orangey vibe. I'd really like to use Element. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna, maybe, Granite is so pretty, too. So, yeah, we're gonna go in for Element, which is this red here. And that is going to be my inner lid color. Let's let's just see what we get next. All right, next one. Oh, okay. Next one is my Natural Love Palette by Too Faced, and I'm going to use Makeup and Chill. I think. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to use Makeup and Chill, and that's going to be my definer color. This is turning out pretty good. All right, and last palette is my Huda Beauty. Um, Electric Obsessions palette, and the color that I actually am going to use, oh gosh, look at these colors, like what shall I use? Okay, so if I'm going to use Dawn in the crease, I'm going to go in with some orange, all right? I'm going to deepen up my, um, like, you know, the two, the middle thirds of my crease with this color right here, which is the orange in the palette, and I think that's going to be like a nice big pop. All right, so let's get into this. I've got all my palettes set up. Um, I've already done my foundation and all of that jazz, so um, hmm, I am going to use a little bit of glitter glue with that um, element shade. I also had my um, LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil in white. I wasn't sure if I was gonna use it or not, but I don't think I'm gonna have to use that for um, this look. So first, I'm just gonna go in with a huge fluffy brush into a men just like that 
all over my upper eye area. I'm going to use this as a mirror. And I love Kat Von D's shadows, by the way. They are some of my absolute favorite shadows. I feel like kind of weirdly stuffed up. I think it's because we've been in the house for so long. Um, it's our vacation, and I think we're kind of taking advantage of it a little too much. All right, so I'm going to go in with a smaller fluffy brush into uh, Dawn, which is the Subculture palette. And I always dust off. And then I'm just going to go into my crease and I'm going to work this color like for a bit and I'm really going to work it into the crease as well as into my upper crease and I'm just going to have it like really nicely fade because it's not like a really stark color. Um, there isn't like so much contrast that, you know, I'm like, whoops, almost went into this one. <laughs> Um, it's not like so much so that you're like, it's not going to be like that orange, for instance. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just going to pack it onto the uh, crease a little bit, blend it out, and I will be right back. Now, I'm also going to kind of just put it on my outer, like the outer third of my right there, just so that when we put that um, makeup and chill color down it's not going to be so powerful that when we put down the orange it kind of muddies it up just like that and now I'm just gonna bring you guys a little bit closer because I'm getting into like more detail here so yeah now as you can see I have um what is that color dawn really blended out and I love this color it's super pretty and you know what, I find these very easy to blend, easy to blend if you are like, you know, paying attention to your eyeshadow. If you're not the type of person, I'm going into Makeup and Chill with that same brush now, and I'm just going to deepen my outer corner. Oh, shoot. I was supposed to use Element first. Damn. All right, well, we're going to just blend that out a teensy bit. Then we're going to go into elements. So I'm going to put my glitter glue down, and I'm going to be very, very careful about this because um, I find that if you put your glitter glue down too early before you do your crease work, you have a little bit of a problem of it sticking really well. So I'm just going to be careful as to where I put this glitter glue. And I just put it on like two-thirds of my eye. I'm going to work it into the inner corner a little bit. That's a color I don't have, so I'll just probably pick one out of here, see what it looks like first. All right, so I'm going to take Element on my finger. I prefer to use my finger with these shadows. Um, you can use a brush, but that's not what I prefer. Really trying to pack that color on. Hmm. I find that this is not quite as pigmented as it was the first time. Maybe it was this color. All right, I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to wet element and see if that helps any. So I've got a bunch of it on my brush. I'm just going to take some water and spritz it and then try again. Oh, that's much better. All right, there we go. So this color needs a bit of building. All right, and then I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm going to take a good amount, and I'm gonna use a brush just to see if I can just do it with that this time. And I'm really kinda getting in on those shadows taking it spritz spritz with some water and we'll go into the next eye. All right, so this eye actually turned out a little bit better in my opinion and I'm going to actually drag a teensy bit of that pigment down a bit or not down, up a bit and I did get some fallout from that shade. Just gonna grab a 
powder puff and dust that away. Wow, this is not too bad. All right, so now we're gonna go into the Makeup and Chill shade, which is that dark shade, and start building up. Actually, I'm gonna take a packer brush and really build up that outer corner to be a nice dark chocolate brown. And I wanted to do this idea just to, you know, play around with eyeshadows with you guys. Um, it doesn't have any rhyme or reason really that much, to be honest. I just um, was sitting there one day and I was like, I really want to just play with some eyeshadows on camera. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do this. And like, it didn't come to me at first, uh, but when I saw... Um, Oh gosh, her name is kind of weird. It's like Ashley. She does um, a makeup roulette, and I think that is so cool. I'm not brave enough for that, to be perfectly honest, and that's why I was like, okay, well, you know what? We will do one look, five palettes, so that I, it's kind of a challenge, but I don't, like, make a fool of myself in the meantime. Um, yeah, so... That was the premise behind this. But yeah, this is looking really pretty. And I'm just gonna do some blending work and um, I'm gonna go back into Dawn and just do a little bit of blending work here. And yeah, then we'll do the lower lash line and yeah, that'll be, that'll be it. <laughs> All right, and then last but not least, I am going to go in to this orange shade, and I'm again, I'm going to work it into my, like, my lower crease area, right where we put, um, what is that color's name, Element from the Moondust palette. Ooh, getting a little bit of fallout from it, that's for sure. I am getting some fallout. I'm like, oh, come on, I, I gotta film some videos. Do not give me fallout. And I think that's just probably because I'm doing a lot of crease work. And I'm just gonna go right back in to Makeup and Chill one more time and just kind of deepen that outer corner again. Makeup and Chill kind of, it just... I don't know, it just doesn't like to stick. Alright. So now for lower lash line, I'm going to go into, for the like outer corner of my lower lash line, I'm going to go into Makeup and Chill again. Right on the edge here. like that and I don't know I feel like I need to do a little bit of blending here I'm just lightly kind of touching it because I feel like there's some weird blending going on here there we go that's getting better Alright, so now that we're that far, I am going to go ahead and take this orange shade and I'm going to finish my lower lash line with that. And I think that's going to give us like kind of a really cute pop of color. And these eyeshadows are very nice. I love these eyeshadows from Huda Beauty. Um, they are actually made in China. Um, her usual palettes are normally made in um, Singapore, something like that, so, uh, like a really fancy type of place, but I like these. These are really good. These are the first eyeshadows I've tried from her. Her palettes are uber, uber expensive, so I kind of have stayed away from them for a while. All right, so inner corner. Oh, I didn't get to actually, I'm going to just take um, one of these colors from the, uh, what is this, the Natural Love palette, and let's go with, hmm, let's go with Poodle. It's okay. Yeah, we'll go with Poodle. Poodle is just like a white shimmer, and because I obviously want it to pop, 
I'm going to spray it with a little bit of water. And yes, this is just water, guys. Um, I use setting spray, but I also like it doesn't uh, bother me to use water. I'm going to just take a large brush and dust my face a little bit. I feel like there's a little bit of glitter on my face, which is irritating me. <laughs> there we go. That's better, right? Right? Better? Better? Better. Now I got hairs in my mouth. I'm a walking disaster today. All right, so we're going to go in with that inner corner. Oh, that's pretty. Like, it's not like the prettiest inner corner, but it's pretty. All right, guys. Well, now I'm going to throw on some mascara. I don't do a lot of liquid liner, and I'm probably not going to do it today. So um, I'm just going to throw on some mascara, and yeah, then we will you know, do the final thought of what you guys think of this look. Alright guys, well, this is the end result. I hope you guys are happy with this, because I am really happy with this. This eye is really pretty. It's nice. Um, I don't know. I probably would have done a little bit better job if I had, like, more time. But I'm happy with this. It's a very orangey, you know, like, smoky kind of eye. I like it. I'm kind of happy with it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what you guys thought of this video. And yeah, only a few more days of 10 days of uploads left. So I hope you guys subscribed to my channel and put notifications on so you don't miss out on any of those videos. I usually post them between 5 and 6 o'clock in the evening Canadian time. Is it Pacific Standard Time? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and then you won't even have to know the time. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Mwah. Bye.